start by showing how the kit chart works in this short video demo would be helpful. So here we go. First thing you do is open up Excel and open up the kit chart itself. So I'm going to open up one that I have been using. It will ask about enabling macros, so make sure that you click on enable macros. And now we'll get into a few parts of the kit chart. First part I want to talk about is the way that we make contact with our customers and clients and people that are in our sphere. And they are right here. So I'm going to move over to another screen so you can see this a little bit better. And here they are. These are the different ways that we contact our customers and clients. The first is, and these are not in any particular order, but the first on the list is an annual review of the value of the real estate they own. You should be doing this for anyone that you've sold a property to. So it may be annual or it may be requested. There may be a reason that you're doing it for another reason. So the, the third could be just other. Another way to stay in touch, of course, is through a phone call. And in each one of these, it's not only about how we made contact, but what happened when we made that contact. So in the case of the phone call, we want to think about what did we actually talk about when we made the call? Not only when, but what did we talk about? And that's the purpose of this chart is to show you how to track that. And we'll get to that in just a second. The third type of contact that we have listed is art. And this encompasses things that are non-scientific or data number crunching in nature. So that would be maybe tips on cooking, things that you do for fun. If there's a grand opening, uh, something going on with the town or the area, spring events, things to do in your garden, area news, that type of thing. The third, or excuse me, the fourth on the list is any type of handwritten note, which people love to receive and we should be sending. So what was the note? What was it about? Did you have a personal visit? If you did, of course, we're going to record when, but what was the purpose? Was it just a pop by? Was there a reason for that personal visit? Maybe you've given them a gift. What was the gift exactly and, and why did you give it? And the other category that could be sent to them opposite art would be science. So this would be real data, data on the market, home values, uh, tips on buying, tips on having an open house, um, tips on selling, anything that is strictly real estate related. The next is email, of course, and you might not note what the topic of the email was. After that, M is really standing for social media. And where did you touch them on their social media? Are they on Pinterest or are they on Facebook, Instagram? What are they actually using? The next would be a birthday card, and that's pretty self-explanatory, and so is the anniversary of the house, if you happen to sell them a house and their wedding anniversary, newsletter, which may be a quarterly, and O is the ever popular other category. A shortcut I want to mention to you right now is when you're in one of the cells in Excel, you may find a need in the comment section to enter the date specifically the activity occurred. And the way to do that is with the control key and the semicolon. And we'll show you how that works in just a minute. So let's go back over now to the screen itself. So this is what it looks like after you open, open it up. Of course, your information in here will all be blank. So let's scroll down a little bit and pretend we're putting a brand new one in. And I'm going to view this in a bigger format so you can see a little better. Let's just take it up to 150%. Yeah, that should be good. So here we are. And let's say you're going to add a new person. So it might be John. Um, Smith email now you're going to notice that when we enter that it turns blue meaning we can hover over that click on it and email directly to John from here uh, phone number a second phone and if we need to extend any of the uh, cells, all we have to do is go right up to the top, uh, grab these, and just drag them right or drag them left if you really want to make them wider or narrower, just like that. 
uh, we would add the address in. Let's get back down to John. Address would be here. One, two, three, main. Let's just say main street. And that would be New York, Delaware. Now we get into the actual ways that we've contact we will contact on. So let's say we're in the month of May, so that would be here. And today we decide to send him a note. Simply go to the drop down, go to N for note, and you've now entered note. Notice that that's in the month of May. So in the month of May up here, which is the tally of any of the activities, you'll see the number is 11. It went to 11 because we just added a note, which would be in May, and it would be right here. Why is that a 5? The reason that is 5 is because, as you can see, there were other notes in the month of May. So let's go over where there's nothing. Let's say there's none in here. Let's go over to November for John. And let's say in November we sent John a birthday card. B. Well, now there's a one here, as you can see. That means that one activity, in this case, here it is, is the birthday card, right there, was performed. If you want to know and note in there any information about that birthday card, simply right-click, press Insert Comment. Your name will appear. You can take that out if you'd like. And just say, uh, John is 33 years old today. Anytime you see a little triangle in red in one of the cells, it means there's a comment in there. And when you just slide your cursor over it, it will pop open. If you right click, you can delete the comment edit the comment, or in the case where there's a cell with nothing in it, right click and create a comment. So if you actually want to put a comment in for the first time, just right click, insert comment, and you're able to insert comment. One other shortcut we showed you earlier was control semicolon. So I'm going to hit the control button now and semicolon and look what happened. The date appeared. So if you put the date in and said today is John's birthday, it would automatically register. Maybe you want to know the date in this case. Let's go to insert comment. And you want to put the date that you sent the note. There it is. And what was the note about? Uh, John got a new dog and I sent him some dog tips. and you're done. If you want to look at all of your notes, go up to review or your comments and hit show all and they all will show up. You now have the ability, if you'd like, at the end of it, to go through each one of the notes one at a time if you decide to do that. So we can do that. We can open the one, show comment. We can go through next, 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 any that are in there. I'm at the end right now, but we could. Okay. You want to begin from the beginning? You could say sure. Go to your next one, go to your next. And depending on how you're showing your screen, you can always hide the top if we want to just by grabbing this and sliding that all the way up. Now we can look at our, our leads. Now you're going to notice here that some of the cells are yellow. And the reason they're yellow is, let's say uh, we're in the month of March in this case. And we're looking at one of our vendors. And any of these groups, by the way, should be attached to every name. Every name should be in a group. So someone might be a vendor. Someone might be a CRS. There may be a client. You decide on your categories, but make sure you have one. So in this case, uh, Dwight Sensenig is a vendor. And I want to make sure that I send him a note. Not now, though. Maybe in May. So what I did was I went to, to May... I clicked on note, but then also what I did was in the cell itself, I went up to home and got this little paint can and clicked on it. Here I'll do a blank one for you right now. Let's just 
Let's do that one. Let's pretend in July we want to go back to Dwight and we want to call him. So we're going to put in the letter C, call. And then I'm going to go up here and click on yellow. This means that when July comes, I can look right down my column for the month of July and have a to-do list ready to go. Know what calls I have to make. Let's go back here. Any cards, newsletters, in case I have to make a uh, personal appearance. Maybe I have to go back and see them. An annual report. Any of the other categories. So the goal of the kit chart pretty much is to know what to do, when to do it, what you did, who you did it with, and if it was a note or a phone call or anything like that, you want to be able to um, uh, know what was in that particular note or what you talked about. So looking at format here, since we collapse the rows, we'll go back to row and we'll say auto fit. So when you do that, everything's back again. <laughs>